Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about lapply and sapply functions in R. Both of these functions are used to perform different operations with the list elements in R. The list objects should be of the same type for lapply function, uh, but uh, not necessary for sapply function. Uh, we will see uh, uh, this, uh, this case here at the end of the tutorial. So let's talk about the lapply function first. Uh, so we have a list one here, uh, uh, which is created using the list function, and it has three objects a, b, and c, and all of these are uh, numeric objects. So let's create list one, and now we can ap apply the lapply function. Uh, the first argument of which is uh, the list uh, one. And the second ar argument is the operation that we want to perform on the list one. So in this case, we want to see uh, what is the length of different objects in uh, list one. So uh, the object A uh, has length 10, object B has length 15, and object C has length 15. And we can, uh, let's calculate also the sum of um, uh, each of the objects in list one, and also the mean of the objects uh, in list one and also the cumulative uh, sum of uh, uh, the elements in objects a b and c in the list one so uh, you can see the output here okay uh, the uh, the output of this uh, l apply function as you can see here is also a list but if you want to get uh, the output in the form of a vector then we can use the s apply function in that case. So let's uh, use s apply to the same list one, and you can see um, the syntax is exactly similar to uh, the l apply function in this case. So only the difference is uh, in its output, which is in the vector form as you can see here. And so uh, all of the outputs uh, you'll get here uh, will be in the vector form. Okay, uh, now, um, if you want this uh, output of the s apply function uh, also in the list form, then we have an option for that. Uh, we have an option simplify here as a third argument uh, for the s apply function. If we set this option simplify equals to false, then it's going to create uh, a list instead of a vector. So we see that. Uh, we have a list here um, instead of vector. And uh, uh, let's calculate the mean again in this case. Okay. And now, uh, what happens when objects are of uh, the different types? So as I said earlier, uh, if objects are of different types, then lapply is not gonna, going to execute um, uh, the code and it's not going to calculate anything. So uh, let's create uh, another list two, uh, which have uh, three objects, A, uh, B, and C. But in this case, A and B are numeric, but C is a factor. So let's create that list two, first of all. And let's apply, uh, L apply function to this list two. And you can see here, it is not going to execute um, this code because um, the objects here are of the different types. And what happens when we apply the as apply function th in this case? Okay, in this case, uh, it did calculate it, um, the desired mean, uh, but it only calculated for the numeric um, objects. Uh, there was uh, an A value for the third object C, which was not numeric. And also, it throws out, uh, throws out an uh, error message. So, uh, so that's all about um, lapply and sapply functions in R and the difference um, in between them. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.